until we have a broken people through the Stockholm Syndrome that submit to this. And if you'll submit to naked body scanners and knowing your family's being recorded and knowing you're being biometrically scanned, you'll put up with anything. Meanwhile, we have all the billboards and all the TV ads and radio ads and propaganda placement in the dramas on television and these news programs about how torture is good, secret arrest is good, sexual abuse is good. Did you guys find the MSNBC Army's report on torture, General Tagumbu? Yeah, I want it up. I want to show people. I don't want to just say something. I want them to see it. I know it's real, but they need to be faced with it. So all of this is how the government's our big daddy. They're going to take care of us. They're the boss. Literally half the billboards when I drove to Dallas, interviewed Dave Mustaine and Megadeth, half the billboards were report illegal guns, report child abuse. The government cares about you. Flashing billboards about a, a grandma who's got Alzheimer's, always meant to sound reasonable. Now suddenly the billboards are saying report terrorists, report illegal guns. Now they're putting out the Orwellian running man type messages. So again, if they tried to make TSA people actually take women, children in and strip them, people would physically realize how abusive this is. But by having the instrumentality of a machine, a quackery, it, it, it has this scientific glow to it. Like it's okay if the man is looking at a scan of your wife's uh, uh, most detailed body parts on her breasts and genitals and, 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 and caboose. It doesn't matter if all of that's going on. It doesn't matter if your five-year-old son or daughter are being put through it and they're being recorded. It's okay. And public schools from Tennessee, Missouri, and California have all been caught mainstream news recording girls in the showers, putting it on police databases, sharing it. So all of this government data they always grabs gets leaked. We know this will be leaked of Hollywood stars and others. So it's literally a strip search. So people need to realize that that is what it's doing. And again, we have the sexualization of torture. We have the White House pushing it. We have it continuing, expanding under Obama. And they, the, the, the biggest group, the number one body of scholarships for college and community college now, especially in inner city youth, they have Homeland Security uh, through the police departments taking over the Boy Scouts Explorer program. 3,000 graduates in L.A. alone this year. Uh, that's in the L.A. Times, training them for warrant service to, quote, take on disgruntled vets. New York Times, images of dead vets uh, in, in mock shootouts with the with the 14-year-old Boy Scouts, where all the jobs, the scholarships, everything is for data mining, tracking, surveilling, controlling, which the private banking interest owns and controls and makes money with and pays off people in Homeland Security and the Pentagon by having the Pentagon and Homeland Security when they're in office call for more of this then as soon as they leave office they get executive positions in all these companies so that's another way to go after this is with the insider payoffs the the graft the corruption and that is the basic rundown on all of this there's a lot of other facets here's the Boston Globe group slams shirt off on scanner promotion because he's making money off of it with his security consulting. Here's the Boston Globe. Close shot of that. There's the Army report right there. U.S. Army report on Iraqi prisoner abuse. The actual report, 2004. Raping children with battery acid in front of their parents. That's who runs things. This is psychopaths setting up their wonderland, setting up their psychology, selling you with all the TV and movie heroes, torturing people's children to get the answers. In the real world, it's going on. Homeland Security had a C-SPAN party when Governor Ridge was in, praising Jack Bauer as their mascot. Totally sick. Frank in New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. Can you guys bring up Frank in New York, please? Thanks. Thanks, Alex. A happy new year. Yeah, you've done a tremendous job uh, alerting uh, people to the dangers of this. What I think is going to have to be done, Alex, is people are going to have to uh, charge the people operating the machines with, uh, you know, creating pornography. And they're going to have to... Uh, well, they're going to claim federal immunity, but they don't have immunity yeah. because they do it in this federal power grab on the airport reservations that are now metastasizing out. But the point is, people are going to have to bring the cases before the court, and also they're going to have to... You can beat the, the rap, but you can't sorry, beat the Alex, ride. Go ahead. No, no, you can beat the rap, but you can't beat the ride. I agree with you. And this is an important issue, too. Uh, this is really an unlawful 
uh, search and seizure because no one has there's no probable cause. Yes. And ultimately that is what has to be brought in the lawsuit and also the fact that the insiders in violation of laws that were passed in the 1970s have a conflict of interest in the government with their private investments that are not put in blind trusts. And the law has to come down on them using RICO to do that. And it means everyone from George Bush's father, former President Bush 41, Bill Clinton, uh, numerous senators, and the the neocons that were in, you know, both administrations. I agree with all you. Great of those points. have to be... Great point, Frank. I appreciate your call. Uh, Eric in Pennsylvania, go ahead. Hello, Mr. Alex Jones. Pleasure to speak to you once again. Welcome. All right. So I have a solution here. If I was Alex Jones, what I would do is I would put uh, a downloadable MP3 file on my website, like Infowars.com, along with the flyer. The flyer can have pictures of, like, the woman in the getting her body scanned, the naked picture. I would put the naked picture right on the flyer, some key points. And then, like, you can put 70... And then the police and news will say it's wrong to post pornography, and you say, hey, the body, the government's recording our naked bodies. The well, people have a right to see this. Yeah. And then uh, you, can re you can have 78 minutes of audio on an MP3. You know, Alex, I don't understand why you don't have any um, MP3 files on your website, because what I do is I record... Like, Sir, we do have MP3 files, or at least I, we had them up there. I mean, we, we post that too, don't we? We have MP3 files on the site and the listen page, sir, and right underneath the player on InfoWars.com. You can't download that onto a CD. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. We try to make it as easy as we can, send it to us. I have thought about my boycott plan, having another flyer contest. That is a small part of my overall operation. I like to give folks lots of different ideas to take action. Great points, Eric. I appreciate it. Hey, we're trying to get more employees. We're trying to do a better job. I'm not the only one here fighting this. We're going to post this on YouTube, PrisonPlanet.tv, uh, spread these files out to everyone, but instead it's a complaint about how I'm not doing enough. I'm sorry. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad.